at Easy Mining, we have developed the Aqua 2M process that removes and recovers the nitrogen that exists in wastewater streams. With this process, we lower the nitrogen load in wastewater treatment plants at the same time as we produce a nitrogen product that can be used in agriculture as fertilizer. We also reduce the climate footprint by not releasing any nitrous oxide. This is the circular solution for a circular society. Nitrogen is essential to all life, plants, animals and humans. In order to produce enough food for the planet, we need to add nitrogen to crops. This is done by adding fertilizers to the soil. The nitrogen enters our bodies with the food we eat and finally ends up in wastewater treatment plants. If not removed from the wastewater, nitrogen creates eutrophication. Today, we extract nitrogen from the atmosphere with processes creating significant carbon dioxide emissions. We remove nitrogen from wastewater streams with costly methods creating nitrous oxide emissions without recycling the nitrogen. This is what we want to change with the aqua 2 n process. aqua 2 n is a two-step process. First, the nitrogen is removed from the wastewater by adding a precipitant, magnesium phosphate, that catches the nitrogen in the water. We thereafter separate the precipitated nitrogen from the treated water. The treated water is led back to the wastewater treatment plant again, with more than 95% of the nitrogen removed. In the second step, sulfuric acid is added to split the nitrogen from the precipitant. We convert the nitrogen to ammonium sulfate. At the same time, the precipitant, the magnesium phosphate, is regenerated. The precipitant is separated from the ammonium sulfate and sent back to the first step in the process again, making it resource efficient. The liquid fertilizer is upconcentrated and thereafter stored until delivered to farmers. The Aqua 2M process is applicable on wastewater with a high concentration of ammonium nitrogen, such as sludge liquor from digested sewage sludge in wastewater treatment plants, or leachate at landfills. In a wastewater treatment plant, the sludge liquor stands for only 0.5 to 1.5% of the water flow, but it stands for 15 to 30% of the nitrogen load in the wastewater treatment plant. That's why it's important to remove the nitrogen from the sludge liquor. There are also other application areas for the aqua 2 process in our society, such as leachate from landfills and also centrate from biogas plants. The ammonium sulfate being produced in the aqua 2 process is in a liquid form. The agronomic effects of the recycled product has been tested and proved in pot trials conducted at the Swedish Agriculture University. The fertilizer can either be applied as it is or mixed with other nitrogen fertilizers. By removing the ammonium nitrogen from the sludge liquor with the aqua 2 m process, you get an efficient nitrogen removal. The process removes 95 to 99% of the ammonium nitrogen. Many nitrogen removal techniques release significant amount of nitrous oxide. In fact, for many wastewater treatment plants, nitrous oxide emissions is the largest climate impact. The aqua 2 m process does not release any nitrous oxide, making it possible for the wastewater treatment plants to improve their climate footprint. With the aqua 2 m process, the nitrous oxide emissions from the wastewater treatment plant is reduced with 15 to 30 percent, at least. Nitrogen is also the first limiting factor for the wastewater treatment plant when it comes to connecting more people to the existing infrastructure. By removing the nitrogen in the sludge liquor, you can either connect more people equivalents to the existing wastewater treatment plant 
or you can reduce the nitrogen in the treated water that is released from the plant. Biofast is the uh, utility that treats wastewater in Copenhagen. When we are dewatering the sludge from the, uh, the digesters, we are getting the sludge liquor. And uh, the sludge liquor contains a lot of nitrogen. And this nitrogen is actually returned back to the process today. And we don't really need this extra loading in the treatment plant. It would be nice to remove that. And that is possible, uh, for instance, with the aqua to end process. And it has the, uh, the, the advantage also that the, the aqua to end process does not emit nitrous oxide. So that's a great advantage for us as we see it. When we remove the nitrogen in the wastewater treatment plant, we actually um, use a lot of energy because uh, removing nitrogen implies aeration. We have to put air into the uh, bacteria that removes the nitrogen and that requires a lot of energy. So by actually uh, taking this, the nitrogen out of the wastewater in the aqua to end process instead, we could actually save a lot of energy. So that would be uh, advantages and we would actually gain process uh, volume in our plant. We would actually we could, uh, gain 10 to 20% of the whole uh, capacity in the biological system. That would be very good for us. So we decided to join the uh, Refertilized project together with uh, Easy Mining to, uh, to, to investigate this process. So we have tested the pilot plant here at Lunetten and uh, we have had very positive results. And we are looking forward to see what will happen with the, uh, with the process and if we can implement it on Lunetten in full scale. In the EU Life Finance project, Refertilize, we have demonstrated the aqua to m process in operational environment. This demonstration plant has a capacity of 4 cubic meters per hour and has been run both at sludge liquor from the wastewater treatment plant and at leachate water from a landfill in Sweden. From the validation of the process and the learnings from running the demonstration plant, we have in the Refertilized project established a conceptual design for an aqua to m plant with a capacity of 10 cubic meters per hour in common water. We have also conducted POT trials on the ammonia sulfate produced both at Leonetten wastewater treatment plant and from Hagbetorp landfill to validate the agronomic effects of the fertilizer. The majority of the produced ammonium sulfate has been provided to farmers in Sweden and in Denmark to be used as fertilizers. The Refertilized project has been very important for the development of the aqua to process. The EU Life Funding made it possible to build a demonstration plant large enough to actually be a full-size plant for many wastewater treatment plants. The project has been successful since it has had project partners from different parts of the value chain. Lantmannen, Sweden's largest agricultural cooperative, has worked with ammonium sulfate being produced. Biofoss, handling all wastewater in Copenhagen, Denmark, and Rangsels, owning landfills in Sweden, have provided operational environments for running the demonstration plant. And East Mining has been providing the technology and the design. When we remove nitrogen from wastewater to prevent eutrophication, most methods today produce emissions of laughing gas, nitrous oxide a greenhouse gas 300 times worse than carbon dioxide. With our aqua turn technology, no nitrous oxide is released and the recovered nitrogen can be used to produce fertilizers with a reduced climate impact. If we are serious about creating a sustainable society, we have to reuse the resources we already have produced over and over again.